Matthew Mole is the hottest new kid on the block and he's joining me in studio to talk about his amazing year and plans for the future. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you for having me. Well, you are nominated for an MK award. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah. I think it's for uh, best newcomer. Best newcomer, yeah, Nia Villain. What does that feel yeah, like? It's yeah, it's really cool because I went to the, the MK awards this year for the first time just to kind of hang out and just see how it all like, goes and it was amazing. and like. It's just so cool to see people win and all that, just like see it all happen in person. So like, it's a huge honor just to be nominated. So like, whatever happens is cool. I'm just like, I'm meant to be a part of that. So that's very cool. Awesome. Oh. Well, our fingers are crossed that you are going you. to take it home. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> now, what a year it's been for you. You had the release of your debut album. Mm. You were number one on iTunes, which is huge, huge. First South African to be number one on iTunes, oh, wow. right? Yeah, apparently, which is <laughs> quite, it's quite hectic, but it's cool. I'm, I'm on it again. <laughs> and you've played a ton of shows. Mm. So, what is your most memorable moment from this past year? Oh, wow. Like, the whole year has been amazing. Like, there are a few things that will stand out. I know, like, the first, uh, the first time I went to Splashy Fen was this year. I played there. And that was kind of, like, the first time I realized that, like, it was just, like, how much fun it was. Like, yeah. just playing a show. Like, cause there were people singing along. That was the first time I kind of realized people were singing along and knew my songs. And that just blew my mind. I was like, what? How do you guys know these lyrics? And stuff. What does... I want to talk about what that feels yeah. like because I can't imagine being an artist and like for such a long time you're playing your music, you really mm. like want to get out there and, and then all of a sudden people who you don't know, they're not like your mom and your dad. Exactly. Know the words to yourself. Yeah, I mean even when that happens, my mom and my dad sing it, it's weird, but like it's just all the songs I've written I did like in my room and stuff and like I didn't really show anyone until I really recorded them and stuff. So like it's just, it's a flipping strange thing that like you can just write a song like just like a personal song and then somehow people know the lyrics and are singing to them at shows and stuff like that. It, it's strange but it's a really cool feeling like people singing out stuff that you've kind of written from your heart. It's, it's yeah. pretty cool. It's like it's, it's weird but it's like amazing. It's cool. Um, it's exciting when it happens. And what did you ask for for Christmas? Uh, I actually, I mean usually I ask for money because like who doesn't feel bad need money? If, exactly, <laughs> we all need money. And lately I've been liking shoes. I, sound, I don't want to sound like a girl, but I, <laughs> I love shoes. I love shoes too. <laughs> but yeah, I mean like, like manly running shoes. No, I'm joking. Like, I like, no, I'm okay, joking. Let's see no, no, shoes those, I don't know, these aren't so new. You don't want to showcase these. I mean, but I don't mind showcasing these. I like them. <laughs> So if I can have shoes, that's cool. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? I know it's kind of lame to have a New Year's resolution to some people, but some people yeah. really enjoy them. I mean, I was asked the other day what my resolutions are, who and I was, uh, who asked you? Yeah, who asked you? Oh, that? my sister. Okay, and, cool. And like, uh, and someone, uh, I think it was someone from a magazine, from People magazine mm -hmm. or something, asked me. So I was with my sister at mm -hmm. the time. That's how it was, and she was trying to help me out, and she's saying. You should have a haircut re like regularly, <laughs> which is something I apparently don't do. So I guess so. That's one of them. I like your hair. Thank you. You're I welcome. Look for a mirror, so <laughs> but thanks. I did. I think I need a haircut. So I guess that's one. Get a haircut regularly. regularly. Um, you're opening for Best Deal in January. Mm. Oh. How did that happen? I don't even know. Like, it's crazy. I, I love Best Deal, so that is amazing. I'm I'm flipping and for that. But I was at the Just Music office with. And Natasha, who uh, books my shows and stuff, and she's just sitting there, we're chatting about stuff, and she was like, "Oh yeah, uh, you're opening for Bastille," like as if what? it's like this chilled thing. And I was like, "What? Like that is hectic, because that it's amazing. It's I'm I'm just opening for the Joburg show, which is like it's still that is still. cool. Like I'm I'm so amped for that. That's cool. Oh. Any plans for an album in the new year? Uh, not really. Like I've I've been working on a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. but I don't know when I'm when I'm wanting to release it. I kind of. I'll see, because I know that there's still some singles that are being like planned for playlisting on the radio yeah. from this current album still, which is already like it's like six months old or something. Yeah. But I, I was wondering if it would be next year or the year late or the year um, after, but it'll be ready next year. So <laughs> maybe that'll come out. Otherwise, there'll be like singles or yeah. little like EPs on iTunes at the moment. On Twitter, you describe yourself as a believer. Mm. Belie uh, <laughs> Oh, no. Sorry to I bring that I said up. believer. <laughs> no. <laughs> when did you see that? Was that yesterday? Because <laughs> my phone, I don't even remember. Uh, someone, I was sitting with my friend Carla, and she takes my phone and she's like, I just hacked your phone. And my phone died. And then apparently my bio was changed to believer. Ah. So uh, I forgot so about that. So you were a victim of so, um, cyberbullying, uh, really. And how can people check you out um, online? 
Uh, Twitter is, I guess, um, the best. I mean, but not right now. If it's not, yeah, not right now. <laughs> Once I change my dis my bio, then it'll be the best way to kind of see what I like, what I'm doing. It's I update that the most, and then obviously Facebook. I've got a musician page there. It's just called Matthew Mole. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Mm. Wish you the best of luck with thank you. for next year, and mm. I hope you enjoy the holidays with your family. Oh, thank you so much. You as well. Hope you enjoy the holidays.